All right, so in this problem, I have five to the power of x plus five to the power of x is equal to seven. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna factor out five to the power of x from my left-hand side. So now I have five to the power of, oops, sorry. Five to the power of x times one plus one is equal to seven. One plus one is two, so I have five to the power of x times two is equal to seven. Now I can divide both sides by two. So I get phi to the power of x is equal to seven over two. Now to solve this, I'm gonna take the log on both sides. So I have log phi to the power of x is equal to log seven over two. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is, I can actually move my x want to be here to the front, so I get b times log a. So in this case, I have log phi to the power of x, so I can move x to the front, and I get x times log five is equal to log seven over two. Now, if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So log seven over two, That's gonna equal log seven minus log two. Now, I'm gonna divide both sides by log five. So then these two cancel out and I get x is equal to log seven minus log two over log five. So log of seven here, this is equal to 0 0.8451. Log two, this is equal to 0 0.3010. And finally, log five, this is equal to 0 0.6990. So now I'm gonna have x is equal to log seven minus log two, so 0 0.8451 minus 0 0.3010, all over 0 0.6990 meaning x is equal to 0 0.5441. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 3 is equal to 2. <clears throat> so to solve this, I'm going to first start by subtracting 2 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to rewrite x to the power of 6 here as x to the power of 3 times 2. Now I have this minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 3 times 2, that's going to equal x to the power of 3 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to let x to the power of 3 equal to the variable y. So if I replace y with x to the power of 3, I get y squared minus y minus 2 is equal to 0. So now to solve this, all I have to do is simply rewrite negative y here as negative 2y plus y. Now from here, if I factor out y from y squared minus 2y, I get y times y minus 2. And I can the greatest common factor of y negative 2 is just 1. So I have 1 times y minus 2. 
And now if I factor out y minus 2 from this, I get y minus 2 times y plus 1 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have y minus 2 is equal to 0, and I have y plus 1 is equal to 0. So for y minus 2 equals 0, y is obviously equal to 2. And for y plus 1 equals 0, y is equal to negative 1. So now remember how we let x to the power of 3 equal to y. So if x to the power of 3 is equal to y, and we have two solutions of y, we have y equals 2 and y equals negative 1. So I have x to the power of 3 is equal to 2. So to solve this, I'm going to take the cube root on both sides. The cube root of x to the power of 3 is x, and the cube root of 2, that's simply cube root of 2. So one solution of x is the cube root of 2. Now I have x to the power of 3 is equal to negative 1. And to solve this, again, I'm going to be taking the cube root on both sides. So now I have the cube root of x to the power of 3 is equal to the cube root of negative 1. Now again, the cube root of x to the power of 3, that's simply equal to x. And the cube root of negative 1, well, the cube root of a negative number is still going to be a negative number. So the cube root of negative 1 is negative 1. All right, so in this problem, I have 0 0.2 to the power of x is equal to 2. So for this problem, I want to find the value of x. So for my solution, first start with 0 0.2 to the power of x is equal to 2. Now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I have log 0 0.2 to the power of x is equal to log 2. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this x1 and b here to the front. So this can equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 0 0.2 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 0 0.2 is equal to log 2. Now if I divide both sides by log 0 0.2, These two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 2 over log 0 0.2. Now, if you notice here, log 0 0.2, well, that's the same thing as log of 2 over 10. And if I have something in the form log a over b, this is simply equal to log a minus log b. So in this case, a is 2 and b is 10. So I can rewrite this as x is equal to log 2 over log 2 minus log 10. Now, log 10, as we all know, is simply 1. So I have x is equal to log 2 over log 2 minus 1. Now, log 2, this is equal to 0 0.3010. So I have 0 0.3010 over 0 0.3010 minus 1. And now this is equal to 0 0.3010 over 0 0.6990. And finally, if I divide these two, I get that x is equal to, sorry, this is actually negative 0 0.6990 x is equal to negative 0 0.43.